it's day four. It's like 6.15. I woke up at 4.30 and I had to pee and drink some more water. My neck kind of hurt and I tossed and turned a little bit. And then, ooh, I hit that sweet spot going back to bed and it just got so cozy. But we have a mission. So I have to get up. Alright. Alright, it's 8.30. We had to do a 0.7 mile hike from the campsite last night to get back on trail so cold this morning um, I slept decent didn't feel as cold as the prior morning until we started doing our morning chores and our hands just started to hurt very bad um, we're going to Mount Laguna today maybe a little bit past there and I don't know how hot it's gonna get today so We'll see, we're on a ridge still, it's pretty beautiful. Give you guys a little, little taste. There's Honey Bear. Uh, we just met another through hiker, a woman who has a YouTube channel as well, Tiki Bird Hikes. Uh, so you can check that out if you would like. It's good seeing different people's experiences, especially if you're thinking of doing a through hike like this just to kind of find that person that you think that you relate to the most. And it's good to kind of gauge what your experience might be based on theirs, sort of, I guess. Not fully, but you get what I mean. A um, little bit of clouds today, that's nice. I wish that they were uh, closer to us, but that's it. So that's the campground that we started at this morning where we camped last night. You can see right here, right there, that little white dot is one of the toilets. It's uh, kind of cloudy today, pretty nice. It's windy, it's cool. It's only 8.30, so who knows what it's gonna be like later in the day. We were told that it would be like 45 degrees today but that's not the case so we'll see how it goes it's 10 o'clock um, we've gone probably like six or seven miles. So again, keeping pretty good pace. This trail is graded really well and it's been flat. There's some climb, but it's very gradual. Nothing like the Appalachian Trail. Um, trying to keep myself humble on that and not get too cocky because I keep hearing people say, yeah, we have a climb coming up and then we're done with the climb and I'm like, Okay, when does it start? But I know there's gonna be a day where someone says, yeah, there's a climb up ahead and it just kicks my butt. So trying to just be thankful for the gradual as it is lasting now. Uh, nothing really, we're just walking, you know? That's it. Just walking, we're in uh, this little grassland. Give you a view. Pretty cool. Sun's coming out. It's not too hot yet. And I guess that's it. I don't have anything else to say. We're probably at like 6,000 feet of elevation. Um, 
It's feeling a little queasy. Uh, I've been starving today. I've already eaten all three snacks, plus my breakfast, and it's just not been lasting very long. But I just wanted to show you how much the trail changes. And, I mean, we're only like close to 40 miles in, I guess. And now we got pine trees and it smells good. It's shaded today. It's been windy all day. I don't feel like I'm in some kind of weird purgatory of sun and it's been nice. So we're about two miles outside of Mount Laguna. We'll probably take a break there and then uh, keep pushing on so that we can Nero into Julian. A Nero just means you only walk a little bit. You don't walk a full day. So maybe you walk like a half day, like five miles in or something like that. So that you have more time in town. You got town chores like doing laundry, resupplying or getting your food. If you have to send anything home, if you need any new gear, and then just time to kind of relax. Uh, we'll probably be doing editing of these videos. Editing kind of takes a lot of time. It's a little bit annoying, but I think the end result is worth it. These will be kind of more raw in the beginning as I get back into the groove of things and then uh, maybe a little bit slicker later in the trail. So overall, feeling good. I'm going slow today, but the weather's been pretty nice. We're headed in to Mount Laguna. We gotta walk through this campsite and then walk on the road a little bit, I believe. We're gonna get some food and chill out. I just gave long shot a shakedown. A shakedown just means I tell you what you don't need to be carrying. So we saved him all this weight. He thought that we were going Rambo on these bears. Had a few extra items I didn't need. So we lightened up his pack. It's gonna make his hike a whole lot easier. All right, we're coming out of Mount Laguna. We siested way too long. Got some food, chilled with some of the other hikers. And uh, it's freaking windy, it's freaking cold. There wasn't a place to wimp out and lodge at because none of the rooms were available. So we just got to keep on going. Uh, you know, that's what it is. That's the bay. That's tree trunk back there. Uh, two other guys are ahead of us, Kit and Austin. And then Longshot ended up getting the last room at the lodge. So we're on our own, and it sounds like the next 10 miles are going to be a wind tunnel. So, you know, that's what it is, is what we signed up for. Pretty windy. Uh, we're headed up above tree line. I'm not really looking forward to it. Uh, well, it should be fine, but you know, hotel room sounds a lot nicer. Everybody's just uh, holding on. We 
Alright, dear life, I don't know if you can hear me, but uh, we're 50 miles in. We're looking like a bunch of millennials, everyone's selfie and spinning around, getting their footage. So, uh, yeah, we're having a pretty good time. It's uh, 6.53, so we got a little bit of daylight left. We're going to keep pushing. What's up? We're in camp. Um, we ended up pushing like a 20 mile day. We stopped at Mount Laguna and had lunch, a siesta if you will. And then no one knew what they were doing and their water sources were kind of sketchy for the next like five to 10 miles. And then uh, it started getting cold. So we said, well, we better get going. And then it was just a whole cloud that was windy and foggy and none of the campsites uh, were very good because they were all on an exposed ridge so it would have just blown around us all night so we pushed an extra 10 miles we got into camp um, around 8 or so 8 30 maybe uh, it was drizzling on us and raining whenever we were setting up it's honey bear and i and a uh, tree trunk we're just at this like day use picnic area because the wind isn't as bad over here Overall, pretty fun, honestly. Pretty good day. Um, I like hiking whenever it's colder and windy and, you know, it just gets kind of fun and exciting, feels a little dangerous, like you're living on the edge, and that's what we do it for. But we're all well. We're in our snuggly little tent. Hopefully no one kicks us out in the morning because we don't really know if we can actually be here, but kind of turned into an emergency situation, so we're here now. So yeah, see you later.